In this video, I'll be introducing you to the Strava app. Strava should be available from your Play Store or your Apple Store, Apple App Store, called Strava Run, Ride, and Hike. Icon is orange with the two Vs. So you can search for Strava as you see at the top of the screen, and then go ahead and install Strava onto your phone. Once you're in Strava, there's some settings you'll want to work with. Uh, you'll first, to log in, you'll need to log in with a user, your email address, uh, have a username and a password. There are a couple other options. I'm already logged in, so I, I won't take you through the login process, but it's similar to logging into some new social media, whether it's a Facebook or TikTok, the same sort of process you go through for logging in. But once you do get in, there's some settings that you, you want to make. One of the ones, make sure you use a name I can recognize for your username. Uh, that way I can know who you are and synchronize that back to uh, the grade book. So do use your name when you log in. And once you get logged in, you may find yourself at the home screen. You, you'll want to go over to the you on the bottom. I'm at the bottom right. It says you. And at the top uh, right, you'll see a gear. Tap on that gear. There's a couple things that you're going to want to do in here. One is that Strava will open up in kilometers, not in miles. So you'll need to tap on display right there near the middle of my screen. Units of measure. It'll start off in metric, but we use imperial. Imperial will give you miles. We're walking in miles, not kilometers in this class. A mile a day, five days a week. With that set, there's a couple other settings that you'll want to set up, or for at least for this class, so that it operates properly. In the privacy controls, map visibility. Uh, I'm on the privacy controls, map visibility. See hide start and end points where they happen? If you're going to walk right around your house, you have to set it to no miles hidden. By your second or third walk, this will automatically set to a quarter mile hidden. But if you never leave your front yard, and it's possible, you could walk in a circle in your front yard and get a mile, because some students do that, then there will be no map for me to see. So in order for me to see the map, you'd have to throw this to off. I recommend for this term you throw this to off. In the future, if you live somewhere else outside of the FSM, you may want to uh, reset this where you hide some of your miles. This is hiding where you start and end your runs. It's basically to provide some sense of personal security and protection if you're living in a place like Chicago, New York City, or some other place that you're concerned about people seeing where you start and stop your runs at or walks. Uh, so for this class, I, I would recommend you don't hide any miles. At the end of the term, you can change that, but the map is an important part of the course. Um, the same thing here, wouldn't, don't hide your activity maps. Uh, that would mean that I, I can't tell that you actually did your walk. Uh, and don't hide your start and, and end points uh, I, in this first setting. So this is in map visibility. You'll want to make sure that uh, for now that I can see these things and uh, your activities should be these activities. Uh, you can set it to followers or everyone. That's up to you. But everyone makes it easier for other students in the class to follow you. Uh, people can follow you. People can give you kudos, little, you know, little thumbs ups or hearts. So this is probably the way you want to, to set these things. Uh, don't, I wouldn't alter these too much, you'll be safe and secure here in the FSM. Again, you can review these settings if you go elsewhere. With that said, then there's only going out and using this, so I'm going to come out of settings here and just show you how we can use this. I'm going to go to record, and you'll notice it found my location. 
that's something I had to tell the app to do. There's a new set of features around permissions. And so I need to show you where that's happening at. So I'm going to drop out of here for a moment to show you where. Because it might be that the app won't ask for these permissions. And it won't give you the map at all. No geolocation. Like this one found me. So I'm going to drop out of here and go down to my settings. I'm on Android. This may be an Android only issue, but you may have to do something similar in Apple. And so I'm going to go down to apps here. I just had Strava open, so that's an easy way, but I could search for it and find it. And I'm going to go to permissions. I previously location was set as don't allow for the app. But I, you'll need to allow while using the app. You'll find that all of these are on the not allowed list. You'll want to set the location to allowed. So make location allow while using the app. If you, like me, you're taking pictures while you're running or walking, you'll need to allow access to media. Uh, and if you are using, for some reason, you have some fancy body sensor, None of my students have had that, but if you do, you'd have to allow that. I also allow access to contacts and physical activity data. So those are there. I didn't allow nearby devices. I don't have any nearby devices to be allowed. But this is something I had to do in the app permissions in settings. And this is a fairly new development in Android. You may have to go in and manually set your apps. Now, if you... Uh, if you don't see it on this top list, you'd have to go see all 79 and then go through the alphabetic list of all of the apps. So you do have to set, you may have to set permissions in Android, especially up in Android 12, the newer versions of Android 12 and above. This is being filmed in late 2022, and that's currently, those settings are not always available to Strava when you first launch it. So with all of that set, Strava can now geolocate me. To make sure I'm geolocated, uh, I start every walk or run by pressing at the lower right the little target. See that target? It may cause your map to spin. Don't worry. And I'll tap it again. That tells Strava, find me. It's always a good idea to press that first because when you first open Strava, your phone might not be geolocated to your location. With that done... I can now, at just above the start button, there's a button there for the sports. If I'm running, I set it to run. I can tap that little shoe and set it to walk. If you're walking, set it to walk. If you're running, set it to run. You decide what you're doing. I'll go ahead and set it to walk because I'm about to do a short walk. All I have to do to use the app is start. You can see the time at the top. And now I'm walking. You can't see I'm walking, but I just throw it over to the map. And you've, you'll be able to see that it's going to follow me as I walk a little ways here. Back to here. There we go. It shows me my speed. And at the bottom is my distance, which is zero so far. I haven't walked far enough. Oh, point 0.1. So you walk. When you get one mile... I'm showing miles because, remember, I changed my settings over to Imperial. If you see a KM down there, you're still in kilometers, and you'd, you'd have to do a conversion, but basically you need to do 1.7 kilometers. Uh, but better to just be in miles. You're trying to do one mile a day, five days a week. So now I've reached the end of my walk. So I, at the very bottom, there's an orange button. I must remember to press stop. Don't forget to stop it. Now I'm not done. I press finish. Now I give my walk a, a uh, name, a demo walk. Uh, you can call it anything you want to. You can put another longer note in here. You can tell it what, if it's a commute. This isn't a commute. You can even rate your activity how it felt. And you can, as I've done, you can go back and add shoes. That you have to go on and log in on the website. Uh, usually, usually to add shoes. Although you may be able to do that in the app now from settings. But I actually track mileage on my shoes. You do not have to do that. But those are all available to you. But you give it a name. If you have pictures you want to add, you can add pictures. 
uh, that you've taken on the walk, you can add them. You can even add short videos of a few seconds length. Um, and often students will share pictures. I'll tend to post pictures when I go out and we can share pictures and we can make comments. Now I'm not done yet. I did stop, I did finish, now I tap save. And that will save my demo walk if I'm online. If I'm not online, it will store it on my phone until the next time I am online. Now that's, this orange line is what I should see. If you see a black line, that means your map is hidden. If you see a black line, your map is hidden. If you see black, then orange, then black, that means that the first quarter mile or some distance of your map is being hidden. What you should see for this class is an all orange line. But if you do see a black line, that's what's going on, and that means going into those privacy settings and changing the privacy to allow the first quarter mile to be visible, to be seen. If you are offline, it will synchronize the next time you go online. So if I wasn't online now, the next time I get on Wi-Fi, it will synchronize. So that's a bit of an introduction to the app. The profile includes uh, data on that. You have a home page over here, and you can see other people, what they're doing out there. Uh, it, those you follow, you can find people to follow up here. In the case of this class, you'll want to go to the little magnifying glass, type in my name. Uh, you can see that here on my home screen. And uh, type my name in and follow me. When you follow me, I'll find out that you're following me, and then I can follow you back so I can know uh, when you've walked and how, that you did your mile. You should follow me. You can see, that way you can uh, see what I'm doing. I'll follow you. And as you can see here, we can, there's a little message, right? We can send messages to each other. They, they're posts. Think timeline, Facebook type thing. It's a post, technically. But you can post. Uh, you can give other people kudos. These little, these little orange things there. Kudos for different things. I give that one kudos. Um, you just see, you tap it, and you get a kudo. It's to, you know, a thumbs up for walking. And you can also comment on those who follow. So that's some of Strava. Feel free to explore it. Move around uh, inside the app. Look at the different features. Follow me. Um, if you tap on this, you'll probably eventually, as the term goes on, you'll probably start to see some of your classmates populating this list as Strava sees it. You are uh, walking in the same area and are all connected to me. It will start to suggest some of your classmates to follow. So you can certainly follow each other. You can uh, do follow me, and I'll follow you back. And uh, that's how I know that you've walked a mile. I'll see your map. I'll see times and distance for them, just as my demo walk here. Uh, and there's details. You can always go in and dive into the details, there'll be uh, uh, specific details in here and a deeper analysis here that you can go look at if you want to see some more numbers. But that's an introduction to, to Strava in late 2022, setting up uh, your imperial distance as your display to set your privacy controls to allow uh, that I can see your maps and, and your uh, your, where you walked, and uh, the settings that you may need to do in the settings area of Android and the newer versions of Android. But if you have questions, of course, uh, as always, get a hold of me and let me know.